What's up guys? So massive, massive drama with Team Jake Paul, Team Woodley. Woodley's mama is is saying that someone on Jake Paul's team called her out and was talking shit. And Woodley, who again, I'm the fan of I'm I'm a fan of Woodley. I'm the MMA person here, so I'm I'm backing Woodley on this, right? Even though like prediction wise, I don't think he's gonna win because there's too much money involved. And I explained that in my prediction video. So again, I want Woodley to win. I am I am cheering for him. So as you guys can see, you guys saw the video already. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show the video here because there's too many people that have the video out already, and it's just like I don't want to saturate that content in the marketplace, and I also don't want to steal anybody else's footage. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of people that are covering this are like, you know, fight hype, MMA fighting, MMA junkie, all these, all these like, there's a fucking fly in my car. All these uh, tabloids are like small, you know, business type of tabloids. You know what I mean? It's, they're not really big, big players. Um, so. I don't want to like create a situation that way, but I do want to talk about it. So if you guys watch the video and you guys have already, you know, saw it, you see that there's a guy, he's calm, he's wearing glasses. Uh, he's a part of Jake's, Jake Paul's team because they're all wearing orange. And apparently what happened, these are his words, the guy that was the antagonist in this whole situation, right? He said, while this is during the press conference, Tyron Woodley's on stage, Jake Paul's on stage. He said that, yeah, Tyron, you know, Jake's got his team with him. Like, it's, so it's like a flex, you know what I mean? It's like a flex situation, right? And then Tyron's, Tyron's mom is in the audience and she says, Tyron's got his mama with him. This is his words. This is not, these are not my words. This is what is being displayed. All right. Now, after this, after Tyron says, you know, he says, you're talking shit. You're, 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 you're talking to my mom, this and that. And then everything gets started from that. This gentleman is saying, I said, ma'am, you know, I said, ma'am, I was respectful. I said, ma'am, this isn't the third grade. So after she yelled out and said, Tyra's got his mama with him, then Jake, Jake Paul's team or whoever that guy was that said, ma'am, this isn't the third grade. That is what set this whole shit off as from what he is saying. That is, that is fight hype, pay-per-view promotion at its finest. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to realize something. That this is purely fight hype. That's all it is. And I'm going to explain to you two reasons why it's all fight hype. The first reason is that Tyron Woodley is a deadly weapon. Okay? He is not a boxer. He is not, you know, some padded individual that puts big pillow gloves on his hands and goes out there and you know, fights. That's not who Tyron Willie is. That's not his MO. He puts on four ounce gloves. He'll march across. He'll throw an overhand right. That will put you into another fucking world. He'll put you on the ground, slam you on your head, and then fucking choke you unconscious. That is the type of savage that Tyron Willie is. Half of the people at this pre press conference, if this was real, would not be able to do shit to Tyron Woodley. Tyron Woodley would be dropping people like, like you would you would not believe how how Tyron Woodley is dropping these people. So that's the first reason. I don't think Tyron. I don't think I don't think it was real because Tyron would have went off completely. Because there's two instances. There's the first one where Tyron confronts the guy from you know in the stands during the press conference and says, "You're talking about my mama, this and that," and then Jake Paul's behind him like antagonizing this and he's like yeah he's talking about your mom what are you gonna do right so that makes him even more mad okay then you obviously will you see woodley getting into the crowd and he's trying to get over there right so 
if that were the case, Willie would have went through it and he would have started throwing bombs. It would have been a scrap for sure because Willie is from the streets. I don't know if you guys know that or not. He's from the streets. And in the streets, you don't talk about other people's moms. You just don't, you just don't. It's it's a it's what's called the G code, right? So if you're gonna keep it, you're gonna keep it G, you don't talk about anyone's mama because the mothers in the, you know, in the community are, are very, close to the heart so you you do you do not do that unless you want problems so that's the first thing because also tyron willie went backstage or he's he's walking and he sees jake paul he sees orange he sees the people in orange and he's like you know better not to talk about my mom this and that tyron willie was only being held by one person so he's only being held by one person if that were the case, if they really said something bad to his mom, his mom would have alerted Tyron. Then Tyron would have, he would have needed eight people to hold him back. Not not eight, I'd maybe say four, four people holding him back from going over there and fucking people up. I guarantee you, if this was real, his sister would have thrown shots. His cousin that was in the audience would have thrown shots. They postured like they were going to, but they didn't throw hands. This tells me that this is fight hype. This tells me that this is fight hype. I'm I'm almost 100% sure. On top of that, on top of that that other reason, you also see promoters getting involved. There's a, there's a guy that's dressed very nice. He's getting involved. He's whispering to his mom's ear. He's whispering into Tyron's ear. If you watch the full video, you'll see it. And then all of a sudden, tensions cool down. And then Tyrant starts getting, you know, he just starts being verbal and he starts going with, you know, threats and stuff. He said, if you say something like this, you're green lit, green lit in like, you know, the streets means like, you know, I'm gonna call a hit on you or something like that. Right. So in my opinion, this is all fight hype. This has nothing to do with Tyron's mom or whatever the case is. This is fight hype at its best. We understand it. Tyron maybe did not know that this was going to happen, but I promise you it is fight hype. That's maybe why this is so, you know, up and dominant in the headlines and everything. But nevertheless, it's it's fight hype. It's not it's not real because if it was real, there would have been a real scrap. I promise you that. I promise you that. They would have been throwing hands. The guy that was there who said what he said was confronted by Willie's sister and Willie's cousin. If they actually said something, they would have started throwing hands immediately. And then it would have been a brawl. It would have been an absolute brawl. So this is fight hype. Don't buy so much into it. You know, it is what it is. It's just gonna give more people, especially commoners and people who don't really watch boxing or MMA to buy the sport because it's actual heat, it's actual rivalry stuff. Um, and that's really all it comes down to. So anyway, that's my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and, uh, be sure to like subscribe. I got fucking 20 subscribers and I need you guys to like videos because everybody is fucking hitting me up on the dislike button. I'm getting like dislike gangs on my shit. I need you guys to back me and like the videos, like the videos, leave a comment. Please, to my subscribers, come to my fucking defense. I'm not saying anything crazy. I'm just saying things that either other people don't really want to say, or I'm saying things that need to be said. And it's and it's opinion, it's an opinion and it's real. And that's that's what I am. All right. I'm not gonna have some fabricated opinion that no one is willing to say that's not, you know, that's just everyone is cool with saying that no one cares about shit like that so please if you're a subscriber like my vids comment and we're gonna go from there but that's what i have to say let me know what you guys think and i will see you guys in the next video peace